Looking at using partitioning for multiplication, this is a useful way of introducing children to written multiplication, but it's also very handy for mental multiplication. 15 times 4 is probably not something you'd know off by heart because we tend to learn our tables up to 12 times 12, but we can use partitioning to help. If we partition the tens and ones, so I'm going to turn that 10 in the 15 to blue. What we're saying here is 10 times 4 and then 5 times 4. 10 times 4 is 40, 5 times 4 is 20 and if we add those together we get 60 which is 15 times by 4. Remember to partition the 10s and 1s. Pause the video, have a go. Partition 14 into 1 10 and 4 1s. Starting with the 10, 10 times it by 3 and 4 times by 3. 10 times 3 is 30, 4 times 3 is 12. Add 30 and 12, that's 42. 14 times 3 is 42. I'm going to try some slightly bigger numbers here. 48 times by 6, it works exactly the same, it's just that the tens are bigger than 110. Partition this, we have 4 tens and 8 ones. Here we're saying 40 times by 6 and 8 times by 6. 40 times by 6, if you remember that 4 times 6 is 24, 40 times 6 will be 10 times more. So that's 240. And 8 times 6, that's 48. Add those together, that's 288. 48 times 6 is 288. 65 times by 7. Pause the video, have a go. Partition the 6 tens and 5 ones. So here we're calculating 60 times by 7 and 5 times by 7. 60 times by 7, if you remember 6 times 7 is 42, then 60 times 7 will be 10 times as many, so that's 420. 5 times 7 is 35. 420 add 35. 65 times by 7 is 455. We can do this with three digit numbers as well. I'm going to partition the hundreds, tens and ones. I'm going to make the hundreds red. 236 times by 6. 200 times by 6. And if you remember that 2 times 6 is 12, 20 times 6 will be 120. So 200 times 6 will be 1200. Now we have 30 times 6. If you remember that 3 times 6 is 18, then 30 times 6 is 180. And finally, the 1s. 6 times 6 is 36. And we add those numbers together. 236 times by 6 is 1416. Pause the video, see how you get on. Partition the hundreds, tens and ones. Starting with the hundreds, 500 times by 8. If you remember that 5 times 8 is 40, then 50 times 8 is 400, so 500 times 8 will be 4,000. Now moving on to the tens, 60 times by 8. If you remember that 6 times 8 is 48, 60 times 8 must be 480. And finally the ones, 4 times 8, that's 32. Add those together, 564 times by 8 is 4,512. 